Hey, what's up, guys? I have a quick unboxing here for you. This is going to be Dry Blood from Epic Pictures, and I think it's a partnership with, what to say, it's a Dread Central, I think. That's what it says. I've heard of them. I think that's a website slash, like, magazine or something. I'm not sure, but um, uh, I was sent this to look at, and uh, I wanted to show you guys the unboxing here first. Um, I remember seeing this... Um, Artwork, well, I was, it was different artwork. It was a picture of a, a skull or something with a knife, and uh, it said dry blood. And I think it's from, actually, a couple years ago now. Is that true? Was this 2019? I could have swore it was 2016, but I saw a partial trailer of this um, months ago. And I remember thinking it looked, it looked like it was low budget, but it looked interesting. And I would have probably watched it on Netflix or something, but it's cool that I have the Blu-ray now. So I would like to check this out and show you the insides. I'm assuming it is no... Booklet or anything, but let's take a look. See, um, I'll show you the back here too. Actually, first let me show you the front again. Still some more stuff on there. That's the front. It says in the bottom here, "Remember not to kill." It's a picture of a that a headless girl. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. It says number eleven, so it must be a series of films. Um, I don't know if it's just Epic Films or this partnership with Red, Dead, Dread Central. Is it Dread or Dead Central? The logo is so small. It's Dread Central. Okay. Very cool. It's got some quotes from other uh, publications that have uh, reviewed it. It says, Genuinely creepy right up until its shocking final sequences. A disturbing nightmarish exploration, exp yeah, exploration into it. Addiction, Paranoia, and Horror, Dry Blood is a great film. Psychological thriller you won't want to miss. And here's the synopsis. In a rural mountain town, an unstable drug addict must unravel a surreal murder mystery as he's terrorized by malevolent ghosts, a deranged sheriff, and the frightening hallucinations from his withdrawal. There's some still photos there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got some more of a collage of photos. That's a fascinating premise to me, and it sounds like an interesting story, so I'm very curious. There's audio commentary with the writer and director, and it's uh, there's a little featurette that says, Remember Not to Kill, The Making of Dry Blood, and then some trailers. And there are the... Excuse me. Uh, the um, credits. 85 minutes, region-free, in English. Uh, I have no idea if there are subtitles or anything on this. I hope there are. There's the discard. Just a blood splatter, looks like. Oh, and that's that image I remember seeing before. Let's turn this around here. This is the um, poster I remember seeing with dry blood from, I feel like it was a while ago, but maybe not. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. That's cool. I like the new artwork too, though. Dry blood. Remember not to kill. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to check this out. So, um, I don't usually do reviews on here. I'll do, like, mentions or whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this, um, either tonight or tomorrow, and I'll post my thoughts on it on Instagram. I'll leave the, my Instagram down, down uh, in the description. And, um, I'll let you know that way if you're interested. Um, this is a cool, um, sounding film. I would like to know more about it. I, I, I guess I could look at another trailer, but now that I have it, I don't want to spoil myself, so... I recommend giving it a sh uh, looking at the trailer to see if it's up your alley. I know this just came out, I think, this week, and you can get it on Amazon. And I don't, I doubt you can get it inside Blu-ray, but I'm sure you can get it in the store, on the website. So that's it, guys. I think I like this other poster better. I, think I like the contrast better. I like both posters, but this is kind of a I like the, uh, the contrast of the black and the white with the blood drips. And then the headless girl in the front. That's a selling point for me. <laughs> Number 11. So there were 10 more of these? Or, I don't know. I'll have to look and see. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Can I set it here like this? I guess I'll just do this. Dry blood. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I will... I'll do a slight review on my uh, Instagram if you're interested in finding out. Otherwise, just check it out yourself. Um... Uh, this is probably something that'll end up being on Netflix or Amazon if you did want to wait, but I, I just, you know, 
if you feel like it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again later.